So before moving into the question, let me show you the data set that I have already imported into this Power BI desktop environment that is called as the employee details table. And if you want to see the data, what exactly it contains, then click on this table view and you can see in this employee detail table, we have total four columns. One is employee ID, next is name, then email ID column and then last is salary column. Okay, so these are the four columns. All right. And by considering these four columns, we have created this two visual. One is this table visual. Okay, this is the table visual. Here you can see and inside this table visual, we have dragged the employee ID, name, employee ID and sum of salary column from this employee detail table. Okay, and this is one card visual where we have shown the total number of employee that we have all right so now the question is that suppose this employee detail table has been provided by the client to us to create our entire report okay and this employee detail table contain only four column all right and this employee detail table is coming from this employee detail excel file all right so if i will open this here you can see it also contain only those four columns that already we have seen in the Power BI desktop environment. Okay. And it contain only 10 record. Got it. So by importing this Excel file into this Power BI desktop environment, we have created this two chart visual. All right. Now our requirement is that now suppose the client decided to add some more column on this table. Okay. Along with some more record as well. All right. So what he did instead of changing it in this particular employee detail file, what he did, he had created another Excel file. Okay. And this is that Excel file and this is called as the employee detail underscore one. Okay. So this is the previous data source that I have already imported into this Power BI desktop environment and it contain only four column and those are employee ID, name, email ID and the salary. Right. But now what did the client do? He created a another file. Okay. Called as the employee detail underscore one. Okay. And inside this table, he has added three more columns along with three more rows. Okay. So now client is asking you to connect to this new data source that is called as the employee detail underscore one instead of the previous one that is employee underscore detail table. All right. And based on this employee underscore detail underscore one table, we have to create our entire report. All right. So in that scenario, what you will do, it means how you will change the data source connection from employee underscore detail to employee underscore detail underscore one. All right. So let's see how we can do this. So now suppose if you have already been created the entire report based on the data source that the client had already provided before and that is called as the employee detail table. And at the end point, if the client say instead of pointing this report to this employee detail table, just point it into this employee underscore detail underscore one table, then what you will do? In that scenario, instead of importing the new table that is called as the employee underscore detail underscore one into a new PBIX file, and then again, we, if we will create the same report in that, then it will take a lot of time, right? So instead of doing all those process, what you can do, just click on this home tab. Then here you can see a options called as the transform data, right? And if we will again click on this drop down, here you can see we have a options called as the data source setting, correct? So just click on this data source setting. Then you can see a this type of pop up over here, all right? And as you can see here, this is the path of this employee detail table that we have already imported into this Power BI desktop environment, okay? So this is the path of that employee underscore detail file right so now i want to change the source from employee underscore detail to employee underscore detail underscore one dot excel sx file right so how can you do that so for that simple click on this particular path okay then click on this change source and then again you can see a this type of pop-up over here this is also the same link or we can say the path of that employee underscore detail dot xlsx file okay so now i want to change it to employee underscore detail underscore one dot xlsx right so just click on this browse then it will take you to the location of the desktop where that file is exist right so scroll down and here you can see this is the employee underscore detail underscore one dot excel sx file okay so just click on this new file that is employee underscore detail underscore one then click on open 
okay and here the file path has been changed from employee underscore detail to employee underscore detail underscore one dot excel sx correct then click on ok then click on this close button and then here you can see we have options called as the apply changes and discard changes right so just click on this apply changes button and now here we are getting the error like the key didn't match any row in the table right so why we are getting this error so let's check the error that we are getting okay so just click on this close button then minimize this then just open the employee detail table this is the employee detail table that we have already imported previously right so just click on this employee detail table all right this is the employee detail table and here the seat name is employee underscore detail all right then open the new table that has been provided by the client okay so just click on it and make it open and here you can see this is the employee underscore detail underscore one dot xlsx files and here the seat name is seat one but previously in the data set the name is employee underscore detail all right so this seat name is different in both the files that's why we are getting that error okay so what we will do just double click on it then copy the page name okay then go to this new table that has been provided by the client that is employee underscore detail underscore one dot xlsx and rename it as the same seat name that is emp underscore detail okay then click enter then press ctrl plus s to save the file okay then again close this one then again close this one as well click on save okay then go to the power bi desktop environment and again click on this apply changes and now here you can see it as the total number of employee is 12 previously it was 10 but now you are able to see it as the 12 okay and previously we had only 10 records but now we are able to see as the 12 record right and if we'll expand this employee underscore detail table here inside this you can see total previously it was four number of columns but now you are able to see country date of birth email id employee id name salary and state okay so it is completely pointing to to that new xlxx file that is employee underscore detail underscore one because if you open that here you can see we have those column employee id name email id salary country state and date of birth along with 12 records right that's why we are able to see here the total number of employees 12 and these are those 12 records all right and now again you will click on this transform data source then click on this data source setting here you are able to see the path as the employee underscore detail underscore one right so in this way you can change the connection of the data source in power bi all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye